So recently, 100 Thieves announced that they'd be holding a Warzone tournament with the $100,000 prize going to charity. But soon after they made the announcement, Activision, the company that publishes Call of Duty and Warzone, said, hey guys, you can't use our game. And while it might seem like Activision saying no to a 100 Thieves charity tournament looks scummy, this situation is actually more complicated than it seems. So let's break down what's actually going on here. Alright guys, you know the deal. Sub to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, go over to twitch.tv slash thescoreesports and give the channel a follow. We're constantly thinking of new things that we can do on Twitch, so if you guys have ideas for a stream or a new show that you want to see, just let us know. Alright, so back on Monday, June 8th, 100 Thieves announced a four-week Warzone tournament series with the prize of $100,000 going to a charity promoting racial equality. Basically how it works is that each week of the tournament, three different charities are highlighted, and then the winner of that week's tournament gets to pick one of those three charities to donate to. Now something important to understand here is that this tournament looked like it was going to be sponsored or at the very least presented by Cash App. Now Cash App sponsors a ton of other 100 Thieves content. And why is that important? Well, Cash App were the ones who were putting up the $100,000 prize that would eventually go to charity. Now fast forward to this week. 100 Thieves quote tweeted their original announcement and basically said, hey, Activision said we're not allowed to use Warzone for the charity event. So basically, no streaming Warzone. 100 Thieves would have to find another game to use for the tournament series. Now, right off the bat, people on Twitter were basically like, damn, that's kind of scuzzy of Activision to do that. But of course, there's a catch that makes this story a little more complicated than that. Soon after 100 Thieves tweeted out that they couldn't use Warzone and therefore had to postpone the tournament, Slasher, who's an esports personality that tweets out breaking news, tweeted out some new allegations. Quote, 100 Thieves was told by Activision that they could run a COD charity tournament without a sponsor, and 100 Thieves refused. Sources tell me that 100 Thieves made the original announcement without consulting Activision, likely to get the public on their side, end quote. And then he followed that tweet up with, quote, Sources say while Activision has been unclear on the rules regarding hosting charity tournaments, 100 Thieves was told a week ago regarding the policy of not having sponsors attached, opting for public support to sway publisher Tide. One CDL owner tells me it's a shakedown, end quote. So now, people had no idea what to think, and social media was on fire with speculation about what the hell was going on here. All speculation aside, the problem here seems to be Cash App and the fact that it looks like they were sponsoring this tournament series. All right guys, I'm gonna level with you. When you look at Cash App with a little dollar sign above all the marketing for this event, it gives you the impression that they are sponsoring this tournament series, which is where a lot of the confusion seems to be coming from. Then later that same day, after they delayed the tournament series, 100 Thieves CEO Nadeshot went on Twitter and posted a video in hopes to clarify all of this mess. Let's throw our own tournament. So we found a day that nobody else was throwing tournaments on, you know, throughout the last couple weeks, and it was Thursday. We got everything set up, and we went to go to our partnerships team for them to find money for the prize money. They go to Cash App, Cash App says, hey, we got a better idea. We're gonna throw out money, but we're gonna do it for charity. We're gonna do it for social justice, we're gonna do it for Black Lives Matter, and we're gonna raise money for a good cause. I said, even better, this is great, let's do it. Uh, and so we make an announcement for this tournament, and Activision reaches out to us like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. You can't run tournaments on our game without you talking to us first and without getting permission. We're like, okay, so what do we need to do to run this tournament? They say, you guys can't run this tournament with Cash App. You can't run this tournament with sponsors, you know, and monetizing the tournament that you're running. We weren't making money from this tournament. Monetizing it like we normally do with our sponsorships and the content that we create, this was just solely $100,000 was gonna go to charity. And so they asked us to remove the sponsors and we couldn't. Like ultimately they said, you're not running this tournament. We said, okay, we'll go do it with another game. We'll go do it with another publisher. This is fine. So yeah, according to Nadeshot, Activision basically said, hey, you guys can run a tournament with Warzone. You just can't have any sponsors or monetization attached to it. And on one hand, it makes sense. Having a tournament series presented by the same people whose name is literally written on the side of your giant fucking compound, yeah, could be a little suspect. But as Nadeshot points out, and this is why I put so much emphasis on Cash App in the beginning, they were the ones putting up the $100,000 for the tournament that would eventually go to a charity. And 100 Thieves? Well, apparently according to Nadeshot, they weren't going to make any money from this event. 
Now at this point, we don't know if Nadeshot made Activision aware that Cash App was putting up the $100,000 for charity, and also Activision hasn't made a statement on this situation yet. So all we can do right now is wait until hopefully the tournament happens and we see how this whole situation pans out. But what do we know? Well, we know that Activision does have legal grounds to stand on here. I recently had a conversation with esports lawyer Alter David for that Don't At Me we did about all the DMCA strikes regarding people playing music on stream. And he told me that that same concept applies to video games as well. So yeah, Activision does have the right to say, no, you can't run a tournament with our game. And that's something that Nadeshot does acknowledge in his video. It does seem strange to me though, why Activision would have a problem with Cash App sponsoring this tournament if Cash App was putting that money towards charity. If 100 Thieves aren't making any money off this tournament, what's the problem? I mean, we all love charities. Charities are a great thing, right? But on the other hand, if I squint just hard enough, I can understand why Activision would raise an eyebrow at having a sponsor on a charity tournament. And you guys have to remember, it's their game. If Activision doesn't like who's playing it, they have every right to take it away. Honestly, this just seems like a problem created by poor communication because I can definitely see people reading that tweet about no war zone and thinking that Activision are scummy pieces of shit even if that's not what 100 Thieves intended. And then from there, things spiraled out of control even more when Slasher weighed in with his sources. The good news coming out of all of this is that we're probably still going to get a 100 Thieves charity tournament with $100,000 going to a charity promoting racial equality. Now we just have to wait and see what the hell it is they're actually gonna be playing. Yeah, I mean, you're right. For somebody that does read as much as I do, Half of what I say is fucking gobbledygook. Half the time, my brain has jumped to a new thought before I've said the first thing that I wanted to say, and then half the time, I'm surprised what comes out of my mouth and my brain is trying to catch up to what the fuck I just said, you know?